I'm Jyoti Nukula from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to guide you through extending a model with AWS DeepLens. AWS DeepLens is a fully programmable video camera that comes with tutorials, code, and pre-trained models that are designed to expand your deep learning skills. In this tutorial, you will build upon the object detection model deployed in the prior tutorial called creating and deploying an AWS DeepLens project. You will capture the events from your AWS DeepLens model and put them in a queue ready for further processing. There are many use cases to extend the output from AWS DeepLens models utilizing AWS Lambda functions, such as sending SMS alerts, opening doors, populating analytical dashboards, to name a few. You will need a AWS DeepLens device in order to complete this tutorial. You can order now on Amazon.com. Let's get started. Enter the AWS Management Console. When the screen loads, enter your username and password to get started. Then type DeepLens in the search bar and select AWS DeepLens to open the console. In this step, you will build upon the new project that you created in the previous tutorial and view the output. When you open the AWS DeepLens console, you may have a different view based on your recent actions. Select the hamburger menu symbol on the top left to see the list of views. Choose devices and select your device from the list. Scroll down the My Device screen and select and copy the MQTT topic name at the bottom. In the next few steps, we will use the AWS Greengrass console. Select the AWS icon on the top left and search Greengrass in the list of AWS services. Select the test section from the list on the left and paste the MQTT topic name that you copied in the step above to the subscription topic field and select subscribe to topic. Verify that you see some messages from the device. You can also verify that your model is running by opening the output stream as described in the previous tutorial. In this step, we will use the AWS Greengrass console to create a rule to send messages to an SQS queue that is ready for polling. Start by choosing the Act section in the left navigation on the AWS Greengrass console and select Create a Rule. Input a name for the new rule, example, Object Detection Rule. Scroll down to the Actions section and select Add Action. Now it's time to add an action. There are many options for the events that are captured by the Greengrass Rule engine, some for processing and some for storage and analytics. Select the option to send a message to an SQS queue. Scroll down and select Configure Action. You can choose an existing SQS queue or create a new one. Select Create a new resource. Provide a name for the queue, for example, Object Detection Output. Scroll down and select Quick Create Queue. Refresh the list of SQS queues and select the queue that you just created. To secure who can read and write from the new queue, you need to create an IAM role. Select Create a new role. Provide a name for the new role, for example, Object Detection Queue Role. Select Create a new role. Refresh the list of IAM roles and choose the newly created role. Scroll down and select Add Action. Now you're ready to complete the rule creation. In the Attribute section, select Star. And in the Topic filter, provide the topic that you chose from the previous section. This topic is the MQTT topic. 
you can find it on your AWS DeepLens console in the Devices section. Scroll down and select Create Rule. In this final step, you will learn how to view the messages. Log in to the AWS Management Console and search for SQS from the AWS Services list. Select the newly created queue name from the list. Go to the Queue Actions drop-down list and select View or Delete Messages. A window will pop up. Select Start Polling for Messages. If your model is running and your device is connected, you should be able to see a few messages from the output of the project appearing in the queue. If you don't see any messages in the queue, you can start a media player and watch your project's video outstream using the command displayed in the AWS DeepLens console in the View Project Stream section. Congratulations, you have extended your DeepLens project. You can now play around the other sample projects or train a custom deep learning model using Amazon SageMaker. Thank you for watching.